So now let's start declaring and using variables practically. The var and let keywords are used to declare a variable in JavaScript. The syntax for declaring a variable with a var keyword is like this. var is ES5 syntax which is still a valid way but often you will see let or const are used with ES6 syntax. So in ES6 we use the let keyword to declare a variable. This is how you declare a variable using the let keyword. If you want to declare a constant then you can use this syntax. Const the constant name is equal to value. If you compare the variable declaration syntax and this syntax you will observe that there is an equal to sign that is at the time of declaring a constant you have to assign a value. Because it's a constant it's not a variable. Variable varies the value may change but in case of constant you are not allowed to change the value once you declare it. So you have to assign the value at the time of declaration. Let's try each syntax practically. We begin with the var keyword. We are going to open JS Fiddle for this because we want to try few things here and the output we are going to see in the console screen. So I have already opened the developer tool and also the JavaScript tab where I'm going to type the JavaScript coding. I'm using the var keyword to declare a variable. Let's say I declare a variable named i. I will just try to display the value of variable i now. Remember no value is assigned to this variable. Let's try to run and see what is the output. The output is undefined. That means if you do not assign anything to a JavaScript variable then by default it will be undefined. Undefined is also a kind of data type. Let's try to assign a value now. Let's say 12. So I am assigning a numeric value to variable i. Let's try to run this again and see what is the output. Now it says the value is 12. There is also an operator called type of which will allow you to check what is the type of that variable that is the data type of that variable. Let's try the type of operator with this variable. I am clearing the console and running the code again to see what is the data type of this variable. It says number. If it was undefined like this Let's try this again. You can see that it says undefined. So type of is an operator which checks the data type of every variable. Now we can try few more variables with different data types. I am going to declare a variable called let's say first name is equal to nj variable age that's a numeric variable I'll say 44 variable is married I would say true or false we can have either true or false in a boolean variable here I'm going to say true let's try to check data type of every variable so I'm going to use three console.log statements and I'm going to specify the f name, the age and is married. I'm going to write this variable in camel case. Okay, so I'll clear the console and run this code. As you can see in the output for f name it says string for age it is displaying number and for is married it says boolean so we have not declared the data type before the variable name in javascript we use the var keyword depending on the type of value you assign to a variable that becomes the data type of the variable
All right, so now let's try to understand the let that is the ES6 syntax of declaring a variable. We use the let keyword and we give the name of a variable like this. So let f name is equal to nj. So this becomes a string variable. So instead of var, you are just using the let keyword. But that's not the only difference we have. var is ES5 syntax whereas let is ES6 syntax. Let follows the block scope whereas var has a different behavior and that is called as hoisting that we are going to see in forthcoming sections. At the moment we just try to understand how to declare normal variables. So when you say let keyword a variable is declared. We can try the same thing with few more data types. Let's say age we make 44. Let's try to display the type of these variables type of age. So the output is going to be the same which we saw with the var keyword. F name is a string and age is a number variable. If we do not have value assigned to a variable even with let syntax it is going to be undefined. This is how you declare a variable using ES6 syntax. There is also one more additional keyword const introduced in ES6 along with the let keyword. This const is not to declare a variable because variable is something which varies. You can change the value of a variable. But when you say constant, constant remains constant all the time. For example, I want to declare a constant h color and I'm going to assign some value to it. For example, at the moment I say red. So there is a header color which I am assigning red. Let's try to display the value of h color constant. So it says h color is red. If you do not assign a value along with the declaration of constant and if you try to run it displays an error message. It says that missing initializer in const declaration. The reason is at the time of declaring constant you have to assign a value. Even if you try something like this let's say header color is equal to red. That means you declare the constant first and then you try to assign a value on the next line then also it won't allow. So constant has this compulsion that while you declare a variable you have to assign the value to the constant. Of course if you want to try the type of keyword with a constant that will also show the respective data type. So this is a very basic way to work with let and const with ES6 syntax and var keyword with ES5 syntax.